Okay, this is Daniel Rowe with TradeThePlan.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a workaround for the Ninja Manager that works with the latest Ninja Trader 8 version. So the latest Ninja Trader 8 version combined, well, basically they got rid of the 32-bit version so that now, rather than having one icon for the 32-bit version and another icon for the 64-bit version. They just have the one icon and then one folder in your programs files folder for the 64-bit version. So when you go to the Ninja Manager 8.2.7, which is the latest installer on the website, you can see that you have a 32-bit option and a 64-bit. I think by default, it's set to the 64-bit, but if you'll change that to the 32-bit version, that will find the NinjaTrader 8 EXE file in the Program Files folder. So we designed this thing to save time during the startup process for NinjaTrader, especially back when we were using NinjaTrader 7, and it would take 10 to 20 minutes to get all of the workspaces up and running, all the data loaded, and all of that. But also because we have so many different charts per workspace, and then all of the automation templates have solvers in them that have these reader indicators that are connected to each chart. So each chart needs to be completely loaded before trying to open the next workspace. Basically, everything needs to open in a sequence. And the Ninja Manager just ensures that everything is loaded in lockstep, one, two, three, one by one, and doesn't move on to the next workspace until all the charts are loaded. Also, it enables us to start up the Ninja Manager upon Windows starting. So if you set your BIOS to start up your computer on a timer, say you start it up at 6 a.m. every day, then you can automatically load the Ninja Manager when Windows starts which can then automatically load NinjaTrader when the Ninja Manager starts. So there are all these different settings here, which you can access by clicking on the client menu here. And then you can also start up NinjaTrader on a schedule, day and time. Another thing it will do is we'll answer any pop-up messages that would hinder the next workspace from opening. You know, sometimes you'll start up NinjaTrader 8 and there'll be all these pop-up messages and then you can't do anything until you close those messages. So depending upon the message, if it's not like a major error, then the Ninja Manager will automatically answer those message boxes and then paste the message in here in the actions list, which is pretty cool. And then the other main thing that it does is delete the cache, the entire data cache, depending upon which folder you have selected. You don't necessarily need to delete all the daily data all that often. Uh, but the minute and tick data you should delete. Typically I delete it once a week, which seems to be fine. But occasionally something will happen with the NinjaTrader server or the way that it's saving the data into the folders. And then the next thing you know, you have a little chunk of data missing for a session or two. Typically it goes unnoticed, but when you keep an eye out for these things, as most of us do, as I especially do, because I'm using market geometry, then uh, little chunks of missing data can be, I don't want to say catastrophic, but it can be a big deal when you're trying to find that next trade setup. And then, you know, knowing that you're missing a chunk of data within all of your areas from that point on are slightly off or potentially majorly off. So, yeah, I delete the, the data cache at least once a week. And this automates that process. So if today's Monday. I'll set it to Monday. And then because I'm connected to the Kinetic data feed, which allows you to download... I think it's only seven sessions of tick data during normal business hours, then I would not want to delete the cache unless we're outside of normal business hours. And then I think you can download, what is it, 90 days or 60 days or something like that, or 100 days of tick data, I can't remember. And then the way that NinjaTrader handles connections, you have to connect to the various data feeds in order. So the first connection you connect to should be data. Sometimes you have your data connection together with your order routing connection to your broker, such as with, you know, Continuum or Rhythmic. You're getting both live data and your connection to the brokerage or the exchange rather. 
in the same connection. But when you have those split up, you have to connect to your data that populates the charts with live data first, and then your order routing connection second. So in this case, I'm connecting to the kinetic end of day data free so that I can get daily data for markets that I'm not subscribed to with my live kinetic data feed, you know, daily data for stocks, indices, whatever. And then I'll connect to my kinetic live data feed for all of my intraday data for all of the futures markets I'm subscribed to. And then the third connection would be to my brokerage, one of my two brokerages for the order routing. Okay, and then you can select which workspaces you want to open up and it will load those chart by chart, window by window before moving on to the next, ensuring that each chart has completely loaded before moving on to the next workspace. And this used to be an important option when you would have multiple workspaces open when you're closing Ninja and then you want that same list of workspaces to reopen. Except now when you start up Ninja Trader, only the last workspace that you, I think, had in focus will be the only workspace that will start up the next time you start up Ninja Trader. So now Ninja Trader loads only one workspace upon startup rather than the entire list of workspaces you last had open. Okay, and then you can select, you know, which workspace do you want it to have in focus. Doesn't really matter because I make it show all windows, which will make it to where Ninja Trader will display all of the windows from all of the open workspaces as if they were in the same workspace, even though they are still separated. And then of course I manage, you know, the placement of all of my charts and windows with the window manager, which is a part of the toolbar, which basically enables me to have workspaces split up but then be able to see the windows from all of the different workspaces at the same time, according to the layouts that I have saved in that toolbar window manager. Okay, and also you do have two different waiting periods. So in this case, if I'm not deleting the cache, it'll wait for up to 30 seconds for a chart to load before it moves on to the next one. And then after deleting the cache, I set it to about 80 or 90 seconds because that tick data can be pretty heavy, especially for the ES and it can take a little while to download. So yep, just make sure that you set this to 32 because now there is no 32 bit version. It's just the 64 exe file in the program files folder and that will ensure that it opens up the right Ninja Trader. And then I set it to high priority because I have other applications running like Camtasia or you know whatever Zoom. So that's it, and then just click Run Now, and it'll tell you what it's doing. Right now it's deleting the cache, which it just finished. Now it's opening Ninja. So now it's connecting to the data feeds in order, and then once it's fully connected, it'll open up the first workspace. It's not wanting to connect to Kinetic, I think, because markets are closed. It's probably doing what it does every day, and it's tweaking out for a couple of minutes while the market's closed. There it goes. So it's going to take a little while to load all these charts now because we're starting with a completely empty cache. So not one has loaded yet. All right, so because it's downloading so much data for the ES, it's taking longer than the number of seconds I had set here, which was 90. And it uh, started to open up the crude oil workspace, which is fine because we have all of these automations connected to the charts and the readers and the reader manager. So once all of the charts populate with data, then the reader manager will load and refresh. And then as you have live data coming in, everything is working in real time properly anyway. So that's it, it's all good. Once it's finished, you'll see this. It's fully loaded, ready to use. Just wait for the charts to finish loading the data and then you're good to go. So that should enable you guys to continue using the Ninja Manager until we get a new version out which doesn't have this option anymore. And then hopefully in that next version, we'll have a couple of other little things in here as well. All right, that's it for now.